Hello YouTube. Starting this uh, procedure, the videoing of this procedure a little bit late, but we're still close enough to the beginning to uh, go ahead and let you know what we're doing. We're going to take this toilet out and install a two and a half inch riser in it to raise the seat level a little bit. What we've done so far is take the cover off of this section down here. There was just one screw holding that in and then it just folded off easy enough. Also took the cover off the flush lever right there, that black handle. That's the flush lever right there. There were two screws holding that in right there. This was on the inside, two screws, and it just came right out. Easy enough. There are four bolts holding the seat to the floor, the toilet to the floor. We've got three of them out. And the last one is giving us a little bit of trouble. I'm having to reach back there and just hold it up while I unscrew it. That was going to take a little bit of time because it's so tall. don't know why they did that. Next step after that, release the water pressure in the system and remove the flush valve right here and release this clamp right here. Pull the hoses off and the whole toilet should just lift right out. Now theory is the riser will fit underneath and then we'll just clamp the and bolt the whole thing back down. We'll go step by step as we proceed from here. Had a little bit of trouble reaching this fitting right here while the toilet was mounted on the floor. So once we got all the bolts off, I just pulled it out. The hose has enough give. The water supply line has enough give in it to let us lift it up some and tilt the toilet so we can actually reach this with a set of pliers to loosen it up. We've got the toilet off. This gasket right here we believe is the source of our problems. It was not seated on here properly so water was leaking around it. So we'll get a new one of those and put it in. What we'll also do, as long as we're in here, is take that out, clean underneath it. This is the riser we got. It came with two possible knockouts for the water supply. One here. I guess this is for the uh, for another type of toilet. This one right here, I drilled out. This is a one and a half inch. I drilled this one out with a uh, hole saw. That will fit on just like this. We'll have to secure it to the floor. I'll see if I can give you some uh, step by steps on that. Okay, step one this seal needs to be put on. We uh, put a little bit of detergent around the inside edge just to help it slide on. Make sure that the sharp edge of this seal is facing away from the riser. The next step will be to put these four extra long bolts in the flange and then mount the riser on top of that. Okay, there's the riser installed with the bolts. This is a little bit tricky to get the fit just right. And to figure out which of the eight holes these four bolts had to come out of. But uh, it's in there. Okay, the sealant gasket is on there. I had to go ahead and, and take a pointed object and shove it through right here to make holes for the bolts to come out of. And it does say right here, this side up just to keep things from getting put in upside down. Uh, we did coat it all with dishwashing detergent as the uh, instructions said. I guess to make sure that everything slides into place the way it's supposed to. Now we're going to go get the toilet, set it on there and see how that fits. The toilet's in. It's a little bit of an ordeal getting the four bolts to come through these holes. You had to, I had to lean it to one side a little bit and reach up underneath 
and guide them in. Now what I'll do is put the nuts on there and start to tighten them down. We want to go across, tighten this one down a little bit, then this one, and this one, then the one in the back, and just work our way around so that we don't warp the base. Since the toilet is being raised up, the original water hookup no longer reaches all the way up. So, we got an extender hose and a fitting like that to go on the end to adapt it to go back into there. All four of the bolts are tightened down. Again, like I said, we did them alternately. This one, then the one on the other side, then this one, then the one back there, and tighten them down all the way around as we went until the bowl has very, very little rock in it. Then we tighten, but put on the water connection. We got our hose extender and looped it around once. Water comes out of here, goes through the hose, and back up into the uh, toilet valve here. Um, we did have a leak right here at first. I just tightened this up a little bit more, and the leak is gone. We have filled the bowl about halfway with water, and we are seeing no leaks. So, next step is to put the cover back on this and start field testing. Installation and testing completed. We had no leaks. We filled the bowl all the way to the top, flushed it. And everything looks okay. This is a Traveler 510 toilet, and it is now sitting on a Thetford two and a half inch riser. Installation was pretty straightforward. There's always a few little things that make life difficult, but those are overcome if you know how to use tools. Thanks for watching.